Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee, welcoming you to episode 2 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Warlock. I've decided I'm going to keep that name just because it's punny and makes me feel good. Now, yesterday, well, I shouldn't say yesterday, but you know, for me it was yesterday when I recorded it, but in the previous episode, we managed to catch our get our first Pokemon, Totodile. And if you remember the rules of the Warlock, that means that Bellsprout Tower is going to be a nightmare. We went and found Mr. Pokemon, and came back and fought our rival, Solus. Because he's a Ginger Snap. Honestly, I would have called him Ginger Snap, but honestly, I couldn't fit it all in there. Now, today, we need to go tell our mom that we're going on a Pokemon journey. And, you know, it's one of the things that I really, really love about this generation that they haven't done subsequently. Like, the thing with the uh, the phones and calling people for uh, people calling you when they, were, they wanted to battle you again. That was in Generations 2 and 3. I can't think of another generation that involves the Pokemon walking behind you. And that's just awesome. I don't care who you are. That is freaking awesome, and I love it. And I'd love to see them bring that back for Gen 7. I don't know if they will. I don't think they will. They haven't really shown too much of that. Um, I seem to I seem to remember that they showed a couple of uh, shots of the player moving through the, uh, through the world map. And it doesn't look like they are actually uh, had a Pokemon behind them, so... That didn't work out. So, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help. But what can I do for you? I know every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money is important. Want me to save your money for you? Hell the fuck no. I do not want you saving it for me. You know, yeah, it would be kind of cool for her because she occasionally buys you stuff like repels and potions and stuff. She also spends on stupid shit, like Lapras mail and other things that no actually, like, sane person would want to get. So, yeah, no, we do not want her saving our money because she will waste it, and that would be bad. Alright, so, I managed to get the, the volume turned down, so hopefully you guys can understand me a little bit better. Oh, it's time for our Pokemon tutorial. Can we just... I want a button that says I know what I'm doing. Just let me skip the tutorial. Because honestly, we're on Generation 7 coming out this year, folks. If you're new to Pokemon and you don't know anything about Pokemon video games, or Pokemon Go, or the cartoons, or anything, you don't know jack shit about Pokemon. Holy crap. You need a tutorial. And they can have a tutorial there just for you. And it'll be fine. And they can, you can go through all this nonsense. But for those of us that have been playing Pokemon and know about Pokemon and have been immersed in the... Uh, I don't want to call it the culture of Pokemon because I don't think... Uh, you know, maybe... Not even subcultures. Video games and fandom shouldn't be cultures in my opinion. I'm just going to throw that out there. But... You know, we, we know Pokemon. Let, let us skip the tutorial. No, it's like in the previous episode where my mom's like, Do you know how to use your phone, sweetie? And I said, Yes, yes I do. And she proceeded to tell me anyway. Thanks, Mom! See, that's what I loved about my mom is that when I was a kid, if I said I knew how to do something, she took my word for it and waited for me to screw it up. Which I inevitably did, mind you. But I at least had the option of trying it on myself. See, just like that. It's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. Try all kinds of things to see what works. I'll give you these, good luck. And now we have the Pokeballs, which means that the Nuzlocke officially begins. Alrighty, so... Let's see how many Pokeballs we have. You 
You know, I should just use the touch screen. It's faster and far less annoying. All right, we have five Pokeballs. We've got six potions. I think that's key items. Uh, no TMs, no berries, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is key items. Apricorn box. Why would you register that? I don't... I don't even... I don't even, folks. Okay, so... Following the rules of the Nuzlocke. One Pokemon per route. And if we knock it out, we don't get to catch anything else on this route. But just because we catch it doesn't mean that it immediately is in our party and we can use it. We have to get a badge before we can have another ally. Centret. I'll take it! I, I freaking dig this little bastard. He's cool. Alright, so... It's level 3. I don't think we really need to worry about uh, weakening him. And if Lockjaw hits him, he'll probably just explode. So let's just throw a Pokeball and hope for the best. And he's ours. Stands on its long tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries loudly to warn its kind. Yes, we're going to give it a nickname. It's basically a lemur, so... What's... What's the name of the lemur from Madagascar? Um, my wife just took the kids to go see this for the uh, summer f movie fun at, uh, at Harkins. And she was... And I was like... Madagascar has seen the movie years. She's like, well, yeah, you've seen all three of them. I didn't realize that there had been three of them. So. But yes, apparently there are three of them. And the first thing that comes up is the content. There we go. Gotcha. I had to scroll down to find the thing. Man, it's 2000. That was 11 years ago. Good God. All right. I want to expand to Merry Lemurs. Julian! So that was Sasha Baron Cohen? I fucking hate that guy. All right, so his name is going to be... I get it all on here to see. Oh, that's not all going to fit, is it? All right, we'll take out the space. We're going to pretend there's a space there, folks. Uh, da, da, da. The one thing I always have a problem with when it comes to touch screens is that they're never set up like a keyboard, therefore I never know where anything is. Alright, so we have King Julian the Centret. And if anybody can think of a way to actually shorten that into a more human form, uh, drop a comment. And I, when we get to the name raider... I will actually change that up a bit. What do we got here? A Pidgey! That could have been Athena. But we need to get Lockjaw as powerful as possible because we're going to be going to Bellsprout Tower. A water type has no business in Bellsprout Tower. There's a very good chance that Lockjaw is just going to get fucking murdered. And I don't mean that in a cute little oh, he's going to get himself killed kind of way. I mean that he's going to basically be handed into a freaking wobbly tower full of Jack the Ripper wannabes dressed as a prostitute 
and you know, laughing about how her organs haven't yet seen the light of day. It's, it's gonna be bad. Our only hope is to build him up nice and big and strong, feed him his Wheaties, and hopefully, just hopefully, he'll be powerful enough that he can take a Vine Whip without immediately dying, kill his opponent, and then I can use a potion to heal him back up afterwards. That is my dream. Because if not, it's going to be a short run, folks. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say short run, it just means that I'll lose my starter, but... It would still suck. I like Totodile, don't want to lose him. Which means that we're going to have to involve ourselves in a little bit of deck stacking. Well, his defense is coming up nice. Ah, uh, I wish I could give him... Bite or Ice Fang or something. I want to take a break, so I save to record my progress. Man, what's over there anyway? Well, there's Pidgey. Anyway. So I, uh, I discussed the kind of uh, Nuzlocke I want to do, my, my, uh, my twitchy little variation of it, uh, with my friend Mr. Typhlosion at work yesterday. And his first reaction is, why would you do that to yourself? Why would you make it so very, very hard? And, well, to be completely honest, with the exception of a few moments in Leaf Green... It wasn't that difficult. I mean, it, it had its moments of aggravation. Let's look at Surge. It just happened. All right, hold on a second, folks. Unfortunately, it is the uh, nature of how I'm doing things that these little visual uh, glitches will crop up from time to time. So, please bear with me. You can't climb legends, but you can jump and take a shortcut. Um, don't we get rock climbing in this? I mean, technically it's not climbing ledges, but still. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, have you have to look everywhere. Well, we technically are not going to be catching them all. We're not even technically going, going to be catching most of them. Okay, are we going to have to go through this bullshit again? Yes, we are! Well, that was fun. I have a feeling that these are going to have to be short episodes for just this reason. Mountain Road ahead. Right, this is Route 46. What's in Route 46? Is that a trainer? I think that's a trainer. I should go introduce myself. Ooh, Spiro. Spiro! No, 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 don't, don't hit it, Lockjaw. I know you're eager for the blood of your victims, but come on. I think a Pokeball should be enough. Or not, apparently. Oh, you're a feisty little bugger, ain't you? Uh, item last used. I have missed that option. All right. Very protective of territory, it flaps its short wings busily to dart around at high speed. Tiny bird Pokemon that somehow turns into a giant gut tearing vulture. <laughs> Alrighty. Give a nickname to the Cot Spiro. Yes, yes, we will. I'm gonna name her Tippy. 
Now, I'm fairly sure that nobody is getting that reference, so I will simply say compare it to the last nickname and eventually you will understand. Google is your friend. So we now have Tippy in the party, but we still don't have anybody we can actually use. You are not a trainer. You should try a different route sometime. You never know what Pokemon you're going to... I'm on a different route there, meathead. Huh. Okay, so this doesn't lead up to the uh, mountain path. It's just a way to shortcut down from the mountain path. Oh, look, it's Hitchcock. Lockjaw. Kill him. Ah, nice and easy. Alright, so we caught ourselves a Spiro. And a Centret so far. I'm noticing a lot of S's in that, in that setup. So we're gonna go around this way. Now I would swear that we don't actually start running into trainers until we're the other uh, until we're on the other side of Cherry Grove City. I could be off base there, but I don't think I am. You know, I've always kind of looked down on uh, Foresight and his ability, but there's an actual ghost gym in this uh, generation. I think it's the fifth one? Might actually be kind of useful to have. Real quick. I want to see what kind of moves King Julian knows. Scratch and Foresight, so yeah. Dang. Enables you to hit a ghost type with any type of move. And it raises your accuracy. Which is actually kind of funny. Alright, and Tippy has Peck and Growl, which is about what I would expect. And yes, we're running in the grass, which attracts Pokemon, because I want Pokemon to attack me. Because I want their experience. Do you see these ledges? It's scary to jump off them. You go to a new bark town without walking through tall grass. I think I think every generation's had that option. I want to say. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. Um, stupid thought, but did I even set the clock? Apparently I did. Alright, I'll, I'll take that. It's an apricorn tree! It's a grant apricorn! So I'd like to buy a vowel, please. What vowel would you like to buy? I'd like to buy an E. I'd actually, I'd like to buy two of them. Now, how much will that add to the marketing budget if we have to actually have to do that? Jesus. And I know I shouldn't be so down on it, because, I mean, all things considered, these games are really damn impressive. But I am going to knock on the fact that, you know, you can spell the entire word of apricorn, but... A couple of vowels is beyond your capability. They want to change, gain experience in battle and change their form. I heard that each Pokemon has its own nature. It has something to do with Pokemon stats. And Gen 2 was the uh, game that started that whole thing too as well, which is honestly a fantastic addition. Let's talk to the old Gen... The old gentleman gent, he gave us shoes. We should let him know how we're doing. Well, as we let out as a hotshot trainer, here's some words of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon. You can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there's no need to be alarmed. 
I'm about to tell you, treat them all with utmost kindness. I can dig that. About the trainers on the road, my Pokemon lost. They're a mess, I must take them to Pokemon Center. Hey, at least they survived. If you battled me and lost, they would have died. Turns out good you are as a Pokemon trainer. You better visit the Pokemon gyms all over Johto and collect badges. That Yeah, that's kind of implicit in the I want to be the very best. When I get older, I'm going to be a gym leader. I make my Pokemon battle with my friends to make them tougher. Now, that raises an interesting question. We know that there are eight gyms that you can get badges from. But what if it was just that in that particular region, those gyms were the ones that were conveniently nearby? Maybe if you went to... I mean, what if there were more than eight gyms and you actually just went to different ones and you picked and chose? I think that'd be very cool. What is this? Communication centers that was just built. I've traded Pokemon there already. We're not going to be doing that. It's great. I can store any number of Pokemon. It's all free. Oh, yes. We have some people to drop off. The PC is free for any trainer to use. Yes, thank you. The bulbous, healthy at every size gentleman already told me that. Oh, someone's PC, because we don't know who made it. Isn't it still Bill in this? And deposit. Yeah, it's box one. Oh my god, can you just... There. Doesn't need to be precise or anything, just get in the damn box. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, we know all, we know all about this. Alrighty. So apparently for some odd reason, at the end of the last episode, some screens came up for uh, cast and credits. It must have been an, an error from when I was uh, feeding it into the editor, because I was trying to do a couple of things to kind of improve the uh, quality. And I don't know why that happened, but I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen this time, folks. This is a new route. It could be Athena, but it's a guy, so... Common in grassy areas and forests, very docile and chase off enemies by flapping up sand. Do we want to give a nickname to the Cod Pidgey? Yes, we do. And we are going to name him... Perisiles. Actually fits. Yes, the first citizen of Athens. And of course that was a title because he was a leader and they were supposed to be a democracy. He was first citizen. He was, you know, just better. Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you're flying. Don't I can't really talk to this guy. So is Joey done uh, battling that guy? Can I come beat his ass now? Is that a thing? Oh look, another Grunt Apricorn. And what do we got for him, Vanna? It's a Grunt Apricorn. Yes. Guys, Wheel of Fortune even still on TV? I can, can't imagine. I mean, what's the people on that show? It'd have to be about in their 60s by now. And there's Athena. To mock me. Athena. You get to live. I'm feeling generous. But next time, there will be no... Hey! 
What I say, next time there will be no mercy. It's not Athena. She's wise and she learned. Alrighty. As crazy as it sounds, I almost want Lockjaw to evolve before I get the Bellsprout Tower. Pokemon can use this move as long as... I'm yeah, okay, PP. You! Up there with the backwards ball cap. The dude bro. Come on. Murring it, child. I just lost. I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. I look weak? Dude, I'm walking around with a freaking baby alligator. Or, actually, is it alligator or crocodile? I'm not sure which. Regardless, he's going to literally and physically eat your rat after he gives it a good death roll in the water because, you know, drowning is a horrible way to go. He's going to make his own river and pull your rat into it and then death spin it and then eat it. Because that's how we roll! Alright. Ding! Level 10. Nice and level 10. Alright, those stats are looking pretty good. Youngster Joey, eat shit, you little... Oh, God. All right, do I want to constantly be hearing about how he's got, like, the top 3% of Rattata, blah, blah, fuck? Yeah, I do. It wouldn't be a Soul Silver playthrough without this annoying little twerp constantly going, Hey, check it out. I've got the top 1% of all Rattatas. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Now, this is the guy that beat Joey. So, I'm going to make Joey look even worse by going up against the guy that beat him and then beating his ass. It's like, Joey, this is how pathetic you are. Not only did I beat you, I beat the guy who beat you. Because I'm just all about rubbing that salt in. Joey's got an open wound. I'm just... Pouring the salt in with a bucket and rub it in with a, rubbing it in with sandpaper. Keep battling. You know, what? I should probably. I wonder if I should set this to to set. What do you think, folks? Go from uh, switch to set, which basically means that uh, I don't get a free switch out every time a new Pokemon on the opposite side comes in. Nice one, Lockjaw. I'm thinking about doing it that way. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. That's strange, I won before. I know, right? You did! What's this say? Come on. Can I just look at the sign from sideways? Yeah, I can, okay. Oh, it's trainer tips. No stealing other people's Pokemon. Yeah. Not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Hey, I didn't look him in the eyes. I didn't look him in the eyes! Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! Eh, well, you're still... You are what you eat, pal. Bug Catcher Dawn. I honestly would not mind getting a Butterfree. I like Butterfree. It's surprisingly powerful for... being a, an early game bug that evolves very quickly. Alright. This, uh, Caterpie has Dust Shield, which means I think it gets to shut off, uh, status effects. Weedle has Poison Point. We don't want to punch the Weedle. Oh, never mind, doesn't even have a Weedle. All that worry for nothing. Hmm, maybe I should have stuck with the Water Gun.
Is it just me, or do Lockjaw's eyes look kind of bloodthirsty and murderous? It might just be a graphical issue with uh, the game that I'm having, but from a distance, he's kind of got like that red, that red look of madness in his eyes. Oh, almost level 11. Now, ah. I believe uh, Lockjaw is going to evolve at 16. God, we really need to get cut. There's more, like, branches for cutting than anything else. Uh, that's Mr. Pokemon's house, I think. Oh, hello. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Oh, is this another Flash is going to be a mandatory bullcrap? I don't remember that. Dark cave. That is suitably dark. A Geodude! Alright, I'll take it. I will 100% take it. It's a Geodudette. So. I want to think about buying some more. I've only got one Pokeball left. If I don't make... If he doesn't stay in this... If she doesn't stay in this ball, that's it. Oh, we got it! Now, what do you name a female Geodude? Huh. Uses his arms to steadily climb steep mountain paths. It swings its fist around if angered. What do you name a female Geodude? I am. I got it. Let's spell check it real quick, though, because God knows I can't spell for shit. I don't think there's going to be enough room. Nope. We're just going to name a rocket. It was supposed to be RC Rocket for the Radio City, Radio City Rockets. And it's unfortunately not enough room, so... Rocket. And if you've never seen one of their performances, don't pause my video. But afterwards, afterwards, go check it out. Okay, that's cool. If this is an Onyx, I'm going to scream. It's a Zubat! Hey, fuck you, Zubat. I don't care about you. That is how little I care. Get bent. You aren't even worth enough to level. That's how pathetic you are. Oh, Jesus. All right, hold on. Ha! There we go. Can't keep me down. Oh, he's, he's not a trainer? Huh? Octo Farte, looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Yeah. yeah, I know that Pokemon Go takes a lot out of you, doesn't it, big guy? It's an Apricorn tree. It's a bleh, Apricorn. Seriously. Game Freak, Nintendo. Crap. I'm going to get that item first. Give me that item. 
Pokeball! That's good. Can't capture anybody in this route, but still, it's good to have a backup. Got a bunch of Pokemon, let me battle with you. Alrighty. Bug Catcher Wade. All right, Mr. Wilson, stop cackling. This isn't that funny. Level 11. Okay. What do we learn? What do we learn? Tell me we learned something. Stat progression is going up nicely. Nope. Nope. And like I was mentioning, I was thinking about uh, switching uh, battle style to set. I don't think I'm going to do that only because this is going to be difficult enough as it is. I don't feel the need to throw in some some additional challenge just to dick with myself. Because I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to be... Nuzlocke is hard mode. This is going to be like freaking survival mode. Because I can't tailor my team before a gym because I may not have the Pokemon that I want to tailor with it. Like when I get to Whitney and I catch a Machop right before I get to Whitney, I can't switch that Machop into my team. I need to have I need to receive a badge before I can add or switch. Or I should say add and switch uh, team members. So there's no early prep for Whitney. There's no early prep for Bugsy or anything like that. So this is definitely going to be hard enough as it is. I don't think moving to set and forcing me to eat a hit on a mon just to get a switch out is really all that useful. You're awesome. I like you. I look for Pokemon here every day. Well, I'm in the tall grass. I find all kinds of berries. If you'd like, I'll share some. Can I get your phone? Yes. There we go. Okay. Find anything you might like. Oh, I thought he gave me some berries right now. I'm sad now. I was hoping for some orange berries. Oh my god. I really need to get the cut HM. That's going to be another problem too. I'm not going to have a dedicated HM slate. Now... The only thing that I can have in my party walking around are uh, the eggs that you get. Only because they don't count as Pokemon, you cannot battle with them. However, as soon as they hatch, they go in the box. And the normal rules apply to them. So, that will be the one one exception that you can, you can you know, pick and choose eggs to travel around with. And honestly, the way that this is going to be doing going it's going to be a long time before i have a full party so i will have the extra slot for an egg anyway got a good pokemon dark cave i'm going to raise it to take on faulkner he's the leader of violet city's gym coincidentally i also got violet city i also caught a good pokemon in dark in dark cave i knew it was you warboss how'd you get past me here's something neat for surprising me warboss Versus Recorder. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Marl. Could have at least given it a good nickname. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like the Versus Recorder. I like to be able to save some of my battles. Especially uh, the online stuff. We care about the traditional buildings around here. Why is even the Pokemart... So even the Pokemart and Pokemon Center are painted a bit somberly to blend in. Ah, that music's not that great right now. Shard to berry! Shard to berry! Yeah, yeah, I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries, yeah. It's like I've been ear raped by a Swedish dude. Shards of what? I don't remember there being shards. I don't remember shards. A really smart traded Pokemon might not listen to you right away. For example, a high-level Pokemon sometimes refuses to obey when you don't have enough gym badges. Your Pokemon yawned loudly. I know, I just... 
Uh, three years ago, this group of thugs called Team Rocket was involved in some wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon, but bad things never last. A boy did a wonderful job, and Team Rocket was disbanded. Yeah, because fuck those guys! A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. You can access... The, blah, 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 blah. Why don't you try it once? So is it now going to say Bill's PC? That would be kind of cool. Primo, hello. I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon fan. I'm from the TV show, The Show Me Show. I am Primo, the big brother. Today, would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? All right. I was watching Team Four Stars, uh, like, little 15-minute Pokemon clips. And this is a thing. I need to... I need... This, this I need to look up, because... I have no idea who the fuck this douchebag is. Alright, so... Primo... Soul Silver. Um... I'm not even entirely certain, uh... Yeah, I, I'm not even sure what TV show he's from. Uh, I've never heard of it. It might be... A, I don't know if maybe it's a Japanese show. All phrases required to receive these gifts are dependent on the player's trainer ID number and can be retrieved from the Pokemon Daisuke Club website or Super Fresh Center. Okay, I guess we're going to do that. Alright, a Mareep, a Whooper, or a Slugma? Oh, that's a hard, that's a hard thing to call that. Alright. mean that you're not interested in the big brother oh, that cannot be true you're just busy right now aren't you that must be it do you have my questions when you got time for me see ya you know i think that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna come back to this guy because oh man it's gonna take forever to look all that stuff up and we don't have time right now we're we're busy we're we're finding pokemon so in the spirit of finding pokemon let's Heal up, uh, lock jaw real quick. And we're gonna have a few people to drop into the PC. Now it still says someone's PC, I don't get that. Move Pokemon, that's the option I wanted. We can put Tippy up there where she belongs. Alright, so. Paralysis goes there, Rocket goes there, and we're good. Good talk, see ya! All right, let's explore some more of the town here. I don't know what all we get here. You know, I was really bad back in the day of not fully exploring the towns. Reports of ghost-type Pokemon appearing in Sprout Tower. They say normal-type Pokemon moves have no effect on them. Which is a good reminder of the fact that I need to buy some more Pokeballs. I collect Pokemon. Do you have Bell Sprout? Want to trade it for my Onyx? No, I don't have a Bell Sprout. Oh, by the way, yes, in-game trades and in-game event Pokemon and in-game gift Pokemon are all legal. Pokemon you get in a trade goes quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badges, they may disobey you. I like how when I'm in this little like five x five room, everything syncs up proper. Eh, I don't know. Pokemon school. 
Um, I think I get some items in here, don't I? Talk to the teacher. That's usually only gives them to you. Hey, you know, it's a little sudden, but you like to join a group? If you join a group, you compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Uh, I don't remember this. Sure, visit a union room. Mix your records up with group members, and you'll be integrated. Oh, this is a this is a freaking Wi-Fi thing. Taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I better copy the stuff on Blackboard too. We already know about all the stuff on Blackboard. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is basic stuff. Um. I know in a couple of the games, not all of them, mind you, but a couple, uh, going in there, the teacher recognizes your, uh, your potential or your, you know, what you already, your experience were, and gives you, like, a quick claw. Be the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. And that looks, that's very true. Do you know that Pokegear allows you to put marks and memos on its maps? My mom won't let me. Basically, it's like a smartphone. Faulkner from the Violet City Pokemon Gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. That's something that doesn't get brought up too often. You can inherit gems. Bonjour, you are a trainer. Battle Gym Litter. When did you... When you did, no... That so then study you shall you follow me. Oh. Are you taking me all the way back to the school? Here, teach I am. Good as you study here. All right, let's go and talk. Maybe this is the guy that gives us a quick claw. Never know. I thought the I thought this blonde guy over here was the teacher. I guess he's not. Earl, I am. Wonderful at Pokemon, yes? To teach you, I will to be a better trainer. What do you want to know? Want to be a winner as you? Yes. Good. Teach you, I will. In battle, Pokemon top of the list. The walking one, jump out first. <laughs> this is actually a lot cuter than Swedish ear, ear, ear rape guy. No, I think I've got it. Oh, smart students you are. No one more I teach. Good to Pokemon you must be. Oh, you didn't give me anything. I a jerkweed. I was really hoping for a quick claw. That that uh, could come in amazingly handy. Oh, Pokemart! Oh, that's a Pokemart. We need Pokeballs and potions. Lots and lots of po potions. Why are there two? What do you got? Oh. Ugh. Okay, heal balls. I have absolutely no use for uh, this kind of run. Netballs might be useful, but not at a thousand bucks a pop. And who in the utter crap ever, and I do mean ever, used the damn mail? Anybody? Anybody at all? I never did. It was dumb. And it's like, I'm going to send my friend a mail. I'm, I'm going to talk to him. Alright, potions are very important. Uh, we want... Yeah, we want th we want that many. We want 14 potions. We need a lot, a lot of potions. And we're gonna need some antidotes. Poison is a thing, and we both, and we all know I'm susceptible to being poisoned. We'll grab three of those. And we will grab two more Pokeballs. I'm not going to be able to capture anything right now, but. Come in again. Oh, I should probably go talk to those people. I might get some free stuff. Oh, this is going to be a very resource-intensive run, 
So every piece of gear helps. Pokemon can hold items like a potion or antidote, but they don't appear to know how to use man-made items. Okay. First Pokemon come out will be weak, but if it will eventually grow to be strong. It's important to treat Pokemon with love. What do you think, uh, Lockjaw? Lockjaw staring intently at the shelves. Yeah, I hate shopping too, pal. You cannot have your Pokemon out walking with you in some places. Places like buildings, caves, and where there are huge crowds. All you have to do is put it in a Pokeball. Okay, this isn't Bellsprout Tower, this is another house. Do I get stuff? Give me stuff! She uses the names of all the food she really enjoys eating. For the nickname she gives her Pokemon, I mean. Yeah, that was a bit of a non sequitur there, uh, darling. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Good for you! Hey, whatever. Apricorn tree! It's an orange apricorn. No, excuse me. Yil. It's a yule apricorn. Yule? Oh, maybe. Route 32. I need to check to see if this is a new route. Path crossed by the Magnet Train Bridge. Nature meets technology. 31, 30, 29. That's where I started apart. So, yes, 32 would be a new route. So, what can we get here, I wonder? Ruins of Alf? Oh, god damn it, that's that frickin' uh, unknown puzzle. South to Azalea Town. Have you gone to the Pokemon Gym? You can test your Pokemon and yourself there. It's a rite of passage for all trainers. AKA, you're not gonna let me past, are you? Nope. Wait up, what's the hurry? Ah, dude. Okay, yes, we have this conversation. Alright, we are actually not going to get a uh, encounter here right now. Because this is... You know, it's going to be important enough that we're going to need all the help we can get. So let's not try to spoil anything. You're starting the ruins. I see a scientist in the making. I hate the ruins. I hate the unknown. They're drawing some stone panels. I tried to move them over that they are. Where's Bellsprout Tower at? Oh, it's around here somewhere. I know it is. We're going to go there, and then we're going to call it an episode, because next time, we're going to be... Uh... Yeah, we're going to be handling that bit of nonsense and hoping to survive. Plants are also living things. They would want to move from time to time. Non sequitur! An odd tree is blocking the way to Erutic City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Oh, is that the, uh, yeah, that's the Pseudo Udo. I want that thing. Yo, haven't you had trouble with the boulder blocking your way? Of course you have. People like you, there's an HN that will come to your rescue. And it's making. Make him faint rock smash. You can even use it to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge. But beware, hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. So think carefully about which Pokemon should learn it. Well, it's not going to be uh, Lockjaw. That, that's definitely not the case. Actually, isn't the Headbutt guy around here? I could learn Headbutt. That'd be awesome. Do you see that strange tree in the road? I explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. Could be. Oh, and I was actually avoiding this place, too. 
I've got nothing against this. It's just I don't find it to be very interesting. Alright, what we got here? There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. They must be the keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. Fifteen hundred years old is not that long ago, guys. No records? Pro Promising youth who is about to start the journey of archaeology has just arrived. What? Just a visitor? Oh, I see. You've got me excited for nothing. This guy right here. Yeah. This guy. Alright. Fifteen hundred years ago was pretty much the fall of the Roman Empire. We've got detailed records from back then. You know, the Greek Empire fell like, freaking I don't know, like 600 years before that. We know about those guys. We know about the Persians that were even farther along. The Babylonians. Uh, you know, Egyptian dynasties going back 3,000 years. They don't have any records. And that really does kind of translate that what the shit trainer this is a mystical quality to it or historic quality or an eerie pick one pick pick one in essence it feels sort of a th i punch you right in the mouth lady it's about an ancient pokemon Actually, it looks like a nido king or a rhyhorn or something It's a big room, but there's nothing here. What's that? I can't even search the walls either. Oh, when I interrupt things, this is going to be a pain in the butt. The ruins have not been robbed or tampered with. No graffiti either. Things are well preserved. Something here must be making people feel like they should preserve it. Some sort, of, some subtle form of mind control that says don't fuck with this place. Well, that is actually really awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to be the kind of guy going, mm, maybe we should leave. Don't like things messing with my head because if it's doing that, what else is it doing? But then again, I'm paranoid. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable in there. There's a way to... Okay, that was the way out. Come on. Okay, the music lag is actually making this creepier. I didn't think that was possible. Welcome to this chamber. We're reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone panels. You can rotate stone panel pieces by touching them for a short time. If you touch a piece and slide it, you can move it around. We think we should be able to put them back to where they were. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This Pokemon hides on the seafloor and watches the shore with eyes on its back. Ah, there we go. Just come from above? So you must have solved the stone panel puzzle. That is wonderful. See, some talent with archaeology. I will give you this unknown report. It records unknown as you capture them. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Uh, not my style, bud. Alright, but we're gonna call it a part. There's a strange presence here. 
And with that, we're going to call it a part. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Above all, have a great day. I will see you next time for some more Pokemon Soul Silver Warlock. Peace!